Kerbal President Bako Sarakyan has formally announced that he will not run for president in 2020. He added that he will take all the necessary steps to ensure free and transparent presidential and parliamentary elections in Artsakh. As you know, our people adopted a new constitution through referendum in 2017, which provides for a transitional phase of three years. This period will be also used for harmonizing the legislation with the new constitution. National presidential elections will be held in 2020 in line with the current constitution, he said. Footage of Azerbaijan is visiting the graves at ruined Gunud village, which is now under the control of the Armenian side, has been posted on the internet by spokesperson for the Armenian Defense Ministry, Arzun Ovanisyan. Ovanisyan had earlier informed that on June 6th and 7th, the Azerbaijani side had petitioned to the Armed Forces Command of Armenia with a request to permit some Azerbaijani citizens to visit the graveyards in the southern suburbs of the ruined settlement of Gunud. And based on humanitarian norms, the Armenian side had permitted these Azerbaijanis to visit the graveyards. Yards. The Knesset of Israel has postponed a plenum debate on recognizing the Armenian genocide and which was scheduled to take place on Tuesday. Instead, the plenum debate will be held on June 26th following Turkish elections and as a result of an agreement reached between Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein and Meretz MK Tamar Zanberg. Sasun Khachaturian has been appointed chief of the Special Investigation Service of Armenia during a special session of the government. Former chief Varhan Shahinyan was relieved of his duties last week and based on his respective letter of resignation. Armenia cannot negotiate instead of Artsakh. It can negotiate only for its own stead, Armenian Deputy Foreign Minister Savash Kocharyan said. Armenia can't negotiate instead of Artsakh in at least two matters. The first to the status of Artsakh and the second to the matter of territorial integrity of Artsakh, he said. He stressed that Armenia should negotiate but not on matters that are in the domain of the authorities of Karabakh. When Azerbaijan truly wishes to make progress in the negotiation process, it shall directly negotiate with Stepanagert rather than pretending that there is no such subject, he added in particular. Donald Trump and King Jong-un have signed a joint document following their summit in Singapore on Tuesday. The North Korean leader reaffirmed his commitment to complete the denuclearization of the North Korean peninsula. And speaking during a news conference, U.S. President Donald Trump expressed his readiness to invite King Jong-un to Washington and said the two leaders had decided to leave the past behind.